Hi everybody, this is my first ever video and, and it's going to be about Minty, my pet snake. We've got lots of fun mm -hmm. facts about him, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And we get to see him do some cool things as well. Like eat and like, yawn. Yep, if people are up for it, you can see him eat. Yeah. So, should we get him out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so do, you want me to, do you want to be the cameraman for a sec? Yep. Right, Minty, he's very friendly, isn't he? Yeah. He's a little bit scared here. Mm -hmm. That's right, Minty. So we normally get him out in the dark, mm -hmm. well, a bit darker because, yeah, because he does prefer yeah. it a bit darker, but just because we've got this on. Do you want to hold him? Mm -hmm. Alright, that's hands out. Hopefully you've got nice warm hands. I do. Look at his lovely patterns, everyone. Mm he has -hmm. got really nice markings. Yeah. So he'll probably chill there for a minute until he gets comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then that, he'll I, go for a little wander. That's why I like holding him first, because then he warms up my hands. Yeah. Because normally Dad will have him for like a few minutes, and then, then he'll bust into me, and then he just runs off. We should point out that that's mm -hmm. blodge on your neck. Lift your chin up. Tattoo. That is a tattoo. Looks like a pen mark, but it's actually a tattoo. My cousin, he's, he's really good at tattoos. Cousin, cousin Oliver's tattoos. We do tattoos from this to this. Yeah. Call today to book your slot. So we're going to move on to another section now. So say goodbye to Minty. And we'll see him again in about a second in another video. Yay, and here's, here's, another, here's another animal of the household. It's a, it's a dancing didsy. A dancing didsy. Slithering didsy. She's a snake. <laughs> it's actually a dance move, that is. A worm. A worm. <laughs> nice moves. Ciao. Bye. And look, Minty's changed. Look. He's got a bit fuzzier. No, don't eat minty. The beast. So we've got a few facts. So, first one is where they're from. Do you remember where they're from? Um, Africa. They're from Africa, yeah, Central and Western. Mm -hmm. So apparently, particularly in Ghana and Togo. Mm. And if you, well, you haven't got a free hand to point, which means we'll just, I'll point my foot. That's where the uh, pitch is going to be. They, they, they live in forests and grassland mm -hmm. and also like savannah and things like that. Let's mm -hmm. get close up for a minute, Minty. Our snakes are like grass snakes, so we probably find them in big lumps of grass somewhere. Yeah, now they're pretty, there's <coughs> lots of them in the wild, <coughs> yeah. but their population is dwindling a little bit because of habitat loss. Mm -hmm. um, also because uh, people use their skin and also for the pet trade. But also, don't listen, Minty. It's like he's, he hasn't got. He's got ears on the inside, hasn't he? So you probably can't hear this very well, that people <laughs> eat them as well. Considered a delicacy, yucky. So remember, they're cold-blooded, aren't they? Do you remember what that means? It means they take the heat from their habitat. Yeah, they have to regulate the heat from the environment, <coughs> not like us. Mm -hmm. But also, and we'll also overlay a chart probably about here, mm -hmm. which will show you the difference in their temperature. Now, humans' temperature, ours is... Um, Roughly between 36 and a half and 37 and a half degrees Celsius. Uh, but if, uh, and if we get much colder than that, we get hypothermia. Brr, and if we get much warmer than that, we have a fever. So we just really narrow range. Whereas snakes, and this is what I didn't realize until I found this chart, was their, their, their temperature fluctuates loads. You can go really cold down to about 10 degrees, right up to 25 and they'll still be fine. Yeah, I know. See, we, they can tolerate massive differences yeah. differences in temperature, and we can't. We'd be very ill. <coughs> yeah. So we'll show you that little chart as well. Do you remember what they eat in the wild? No, he doesn't eat very much other than the same thing all the time. Luckily for us, he doesn't seem that bothered about it. Rats. Rats. But in the wild, they'll eat things like birds, and they'll eat snake, uh, lizards, and yeah. little small mammals. Yeah. I've so, also, another fact, do you remember? Mm -hmm. Now, these are venomous. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? They're venomous? <gasps> we better put them back. 
Put it back, he's venomous, quick. He's not no. Really. Oh no, he's not, is he's non venomous. No, he's a constrictor. Do you know what that means? It means that he crushes his prey. Yeah, they grab him and then they squish him and then they suffocate because they can't breathe. So they, so they stop struggling. Yep. And hopefully, I don't know if we'll be able to see it in our little video, but we'll put that in after this. We'll see him strike. And as, as they strike like that, they, their whole body follows and they coil around it and then they squish and then it. Well, we've got some dark footage of it, but we'll see if that, that works. Our next clip is of Minty Feeding, so if you don't want to see it or you're screamish, skip forward after 30 seconds after this clip. Right here we have Minty eating. It might be a bit dark to see. Mm -hmm. If you can't see. Right. Right, he looks hungry. Megamint. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, got that. Good running. That's a whooping, that. There's one thing that happens after at least two days when Minty is fed. He stinks out his cage. It's almost like you put something in the front and then something yeah. has to come out. <laughs> <laughs> now you just, it, it, yeah, it does stink. It's normal though, we do that. There's nothing funny about that. <laughs> Maybe it's a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit, isn't it? He likes exploring, doesn't he? And especially making me not able to move. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, you just did a yawn. Yeah. Oh, awesome. We got got one on the GoPro. Boom. Oh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to slow that down and see that. We might be able to get a good view of his fangs. Now that Minty has yawned, I think it's time for his bedtime. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Yep, and they could subscribe if they want to as well, because we'll add some more content, some different things. Got a few good videos to sort out, haven't we? And hopefully we'll get a bit better at editing them. And uh, well, look, Bye. he's on the move, right? Bye-bye.